It is 4.30 in the morning, and Mike Holt is about to begin another day. His title is store director, but United's top management considers him the chief executive officer of store number 561. Built in 2003 in McKinney, Texas, store 561, called Market Street, represents a $25 million investment in construction, fixtures, equipment, and inventory. The store employs more than 400 people and generates more than $40 million in annual sales. Although Mike Holt has not reached age 40, he knows the success or failure of Store 561 is his responsibility. On this day alone, he and his team will play host to nearly 5,000 guests. Almost 2 million guests will visit his store each year. Meeting the needs of that many people is a complex challenge that requires logistical support from product vendors, maintenance personnel, supply chain specialists, and support staff at both the main distribution center and the store support center, located 350 miles away in Lubbock, Texas. Like Store 561, all of United stores are supplied using a state-of-the-art system of distribution. A $50 million, 500,000 square foot facility that serves as the lifeblood of each store. This distribution center is a place where stillness and quietude do not exist. For every day and every night of every month and every year, United support team diligently meets each store's growing demands. United's guests will consume 11 million pounds of potatoes, 8 million pounds of bananas, 3 million pounds of apples, and more than 1 million pounds of strawberries each year. The company depends on the critical eye of its veterans of the trade to ensure quality. Like his father before him, Tommy Wilkins has spent his entire life in the field. But what he has cultivated is not subject to Mother Nature's changing weather patterns. For Tommy Wilkins, his field work has been in cultivating the personal relationships necessary to ensure preferred access to the finest, freshest produce available. Each grower has grown to be part of our family. We have a pumpkin grower that we have been personal friends with since the late 60s. Uh, we have many growers in California that over the 10 to 15 years that uh, have become personal friends of mine. Uh, these are true partners in what we do. We, we know about their families, the perils of their everyday problems, uh, and that's part of the relationship building that we've gone to. We feel that our best job has come when we can get out and walk down a row and kick that dirt and look at what that product's doing and look that farmer in the eye and, and understand where, what they're doing and what we're looking for. And uh, I think that's where the relationships have been built. And, and that's one that we've ingrained that is an integral part in what we do. I like it. Gerald Kreitz is an industry veteran of nearly 50 years. And while he knows a great deal about store operations in general, he is considered the resident expert when it comes to meat, poultry, and seafood. Like Tommy, Gerald values the partnerships and friends made during a half century of service to the industry. You know, you look back at your career and you say, you know, well, what were the what were the, uh, the shining moments, if you will? What, what, what do you feel like you accomplished here? And, uh, you know, I, I probably feel like I didn't accomplish anything by myself. We have to remain humble. Uh, we have to re understand we have to continue to grow in our professionalism to keep growing in, in what we offer our customer, to make sure we're on the leading edge, to, to make sure that we're, we keep the customer in mind. The supply chain team at United must coordinate the processing of more than 10 million pounds of chicken and more than 5 million pieces of fried chicken just to satisfy guests 
visiting United stores this year. Demand for certain items can be staggering. United sells nearly two million pounds of turkey every Thanksgiving, virtually all of which is consumed in just a two hour period of one day. For Mike Holt in McKinney, all of these logistical challenges must be transparent to his guests, who will start arriving at 6 a.m. Realizing such expectations means truck deliveries must be on time, so that the night crew at 561 can efficiently unload fresh product and restock the 72,000 square foot store between the hours of 10 p.m. and 5.30 a.m. Simultaneously, cleaning crews wax and buff the floors to ensure the store is ready by opening. Many of these activities are not dissimilar to what happens at other supermarket chains in America, all of which depend on a sophisticated supply chain to ensure each store has the required amount of inventory on hand to sell. But unlike other chains, the challenge of supplying stores with only the finest products is made even harder at United. Due to one man's philosophy recorded more than nine decades ago, 